states of matter. In this video you are going to learn what the three states of matter are, some examples of each state of matter, the characteristic properties of the three states of matter. The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. Let us look at solids. An example of a solid is your computer. The properties of solids depend on how the particles in solids are packed. In a solid the particles are closely packed in fixed positions and cannot move anywhere. So, solids are rigid, cannot be squashed or compressed, have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. They cannot flow. Now let us look at liquids. An example of a liquid is water. Just as with solids, the properties of liquids depend on how the particles in liquids are packed. In a liquid, the particles are again closely packed, but not as closely packed as in solids. So this means the particles in liquids can move around each other. So, liquids are not rigid, but because their particles are closely packed as in solids, they cannot be squashed or compressed. They do not have a fixed shape, but they do have a fixed volume. Beware with that one, as many students think because liquids do not have a fixed shape, they do not have a fixed volume either. But they are wrong. If someone orders a pint of beer, they cannot make it two pints by pouring it into different containers. As you know, liquids can flow. Finally, let us look at gases. An example of a gas is helium. This is the gas in party balloons, because it is less dense than air and unreactive. Again, as with solids and liquids, the properties of gases depend on how the particles in gases are packed. Unlike solids and liquids, the particles in gases are not closely packed, they are far apart. As a result, gases are not rigid and can be squashed or compressed. They do not have a fixed shape nor fixed volume. They fill the whole space they are in.